So you want to be a vlogger, hey? Hi guys, let's kick off with my motor vlogging setup. Now the first thing I need to say is that everything that I show today is going to be in the, in the description box below. However, let's kick off. So the first thing we need to look at is the camera. So I'm going to show you the camera that I use. So what you've got here is the GoPro Hero 4. Um, it's, it's a nice versatile camera. What I do love about the functionality of the camera is that you've got lots of different options that you can cycle through. So obviously things like um, the, ca uh, sorry, the film mode um, and the camera mode, but then you've also got the combination of taking photos as well as filming at the same time, which is really good. It's currently retail on Amazon for £368. Um, obviously that is quite a bit of money, but what you're getting um, in return is a real quality camera. The be As far as I'm concerned, it is the best on the market. So what you're going to do now is see a bit of footage with me using the camera. So let's go to me now. Okay, so video quality is extremely important. If you've got those two most important things you've got to get sorted right from the start, it is video quality and it's sound quality. So for me, what I've got at the moment is the GoPro Hero Black, which I'm sure I've mentioned. I'm currently kicking out uh, 1080p with a frame rate of 60. Now, the good thing about this GoPro is that I'm able to step it up a notch and go to 2K and 4K. The reason why I'm not doing that at the moment is purely based upon most of you guys viewing will view it from your, <coughs> your iPads or other Android uh, devices which typically kick out a, a, H, a rate of 1080p. So there's no point. The second thing as well is that recording in 2K and 4K and then transferring that to Final Cut and uploading on YouTube takes a lot, a lot of time. So again, if you guys aren't going to see it, then there's no point me doing it. So 1080p, absolutely fine. Okay, so you now I've got your uh, your GoPro. So you now need to look at accessories that you can mount it onto the helmet. So I'm going to show you just a few. So first things first, the GoPro comes with this. It's the clear housing unit. It's quite a nice bit of kit, but it doesn't come with a mic input or there's no um, hole where you can put your mic input in. So what I did, I actually kept this because it's fully waterproof and that'll be good for holidays, etc. blah, blah, blah. And then I bought myself another housing unit. Now, this is the Blackout. Um, Admittedly, because it's a GoPro um, manufacturer, it is very expensive. It comes in around £38, but for me, it matches my helmet. It matches the look. What I then did was I went to a fabricator's and got them to drill out a nice little hole piece there. So it's very clean. Um, the second thing that you need to do is think about, OK, so where am I going to actually attach the GoPro to the helmet? So I'm going to show you some multiple options that I use and hopefully you can use them. OK, guys. Now we're going to actually have a look at the helmet and see how it mounts, how the GoPro mounts on. Now, the one thing that you've got to keep in mind is that you need to have um, the video position placed where your eye view is. Um, so what you want to have is that viewer is enabled to see everything around them. So initially when I started uh, motor vlogging, typically I had the drift camera and the attachment was on the, the side of my helmet here. Uh, but with the GoPro, I wanted to focus more on the centre of the helmet. So I've got two different options that you can go for. The only thing that's going to conflict with these options is basically the shape of your helmet and what's obstructing it. So for example, you've got the airflow pieces uh, by the mouth. So um, if we go on the right, now for me this is the most ideal uh, position to have the GoPro mounting pieces. With this helmet specifically, um, the airflow wasn't in the way of this plastic part, so I was able to attach very easily um, the GoPro accessories like so and then what you can see is that when you place the GoPro on it's got a really nice centered position right in eye line so it gives the viewer a great angle to see what you as a motor vlogger are looking at. Now what you can see with my helmet I don't have a far 
far enough gap here to put um, the other helmet mounted piece on. So what I needed to do was look at a side bracket. So what I chose um, was the GoPro side bracket like so, and then I simply added certain brackets along to make the camera come out. So what I've essentially got is these small brackets uh, clipped to the side which then put my camera in position like so. Now you can get these off Amazon um, for very little money for about a fiver and they're really really worth it. And then when I mount the GoPro it is then right in the middle of my eye line and at the same time dependent on my riding position I'm able to lean that camera back to give the viewer again a better natural view of, of what I'm seeing as a vlogger. Okay guys, so um, obviously we understand that GoPro is quite a bulky unit and the attachments that you get are bulky. So what I've tried to do is slimline it as much as possible. So typically with your GoPro accessories you'll have something like this, which clips, or not clips in, it screws into the mounted pieces like so. So essentially you've got an even bigger, bulkier unit. What I wanted to do was take this out of the equation and add something simpler. So what I've done is searched, searched on the net and I've basically got this M5 bolt. And again guys, all this is in the uh, this description below. So you can see there's a massive difference in size there. So then what I then did is just use this with an allen key and I inserted it into the places that I needed it and again it just makes the unit more streamlined to give it a cleaner look. Okay guys so now we need to talk about the microphone um, so what I've got in here before I explain this I've got um, the Sony ECMS mic um, it is a highly um, rated microphone for vloggers. It does cost £20 but what you'll find is that the, the sound quality that you get versus um, a cheaper Chinese option is a mile different. When you have the microphone you need to buy wind cats. Wind cats essentially uh, push away the airflow from the microphone. Um, typically if you're doing speeds excess of 30 miles an hour you will get, as you probably are aware, um, wind that comes into your helmet and makes one heck of a noise. Obviously vlogging whilst having that is not going to have good, uh, good sound quality. So I bought this wind cap. Um, again, in the description box below. Um, it's really easy to put together. Essentially, it's two wind mics, so I'll just show you what they look like. This is the packet they come in. And essentially, not that one because I've butchered that. But essentially, it's got a nice whole piece like so, um, which you can then put over the lapel mic and then do the same with the other one. So they come together and then what I've done is just sellotaped around it to keep it nice and solid. But what I'll do now, let's jump to my uh, motor vlogging clip of me talking about sound quality and what you guys can hear. So the next big one you've got to get sorted, um, apart from your visual quality, is sound quality. It is so important to get sound quality right because straight away if your sound is not good enough um, your viewers or people watching will just turn off straight away. Admittedly the first couple of my vlogs and actually up to the road, uh, Roadster test view or test view test review it wasn't that great and to be fair I had constructive criticism which was good around it but since then what I did uh, when I bought the GoPro Hero 4 Black check my shoulder um, I then switched to a high quality mic now you know just as video quality is important you've got to get the mic right and you can buy loads of cheap copies you can get Chinese copies at four pound and blah 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 but don't don't do it guys straight away I've gone for the Sony um, ECSM mic it's a great mic um, brilliant sound quality a lot of the good good YouTubers or motor vloggers have this mic as their go-to setup. What I love about the mic as well, it's very small, uh, fits nicely into the helmet which you guys will see um, and at the same time you know the sound quality is great because you've got two inputs, it's got a left and right 
so viewers watching if they've got obviously two two speakers they'll hear different sounds coming out which is pretty cool So okay guys, so you've heard the sound quality and it is pretty crisp, but what you need to do is really place that mic somewhere where you're going to have the least amount of wind resistance. Now typically, um, when I first started vlogging, I had my mic up here. Um, however, um, what I found is that you'd still get a lot of wind drag coming in even with the visor closed. So what you need to do is put it in a position where it has the maximum amount of protection from the wind. So where I put my wind cat now with the microphone is underneath the helmet like so. And essentially what you have got is your chin piece which is here. Okay, so what I've done is essentially put a sticky velcro tab. So there's the velcro there. Put the Velcro tab there and a Velcro tab here. So then when I'm out on the bike, I can then simply attach it so it's firmly secure in, like so. And that means then I don't have to worry about the mic and I'll always get a crisp sound. What you do need to make sure is that the airflow in your front piece here is off. Okay, so again, you're just taking out as many um, equations of, of air as possible. But essentially, that is the best place, I feel, where to put the mic. Okay, guys, so you've probably heard that um, all these nice accessories come to a considerable amount of money. And I'm fully aware that, you know, not everyone has this money to splurge on a, a hobby straight away. And it's always good to know, you know, that you're really keen. So the last thing you want to do is splurge a lot of money and then after a month think, oh, this is not for me. Um, and the next thing you're selling it on eBay and losing lots more money. So here are my hints and tips of how to do it on a budget. Firstly, look on eBay. You can get loads and loads of really good stuff on eBay. Um, my example was I started off with a Drift camera. I actually bought that on Gumtree. Um, the retail for the Drift is around 200. It was the, the basic Drift, which um, I think it's called the Ghost Drift and it, it just recorded at 30 frames per second at 1080p that was fine for me that's uh, that, you know that's enough um, i bought that for a hundred pounds and then i bought a drift mic on ebay uh, for eight pounds so all in all i was ready to go vlogging off 108 pounds in terms of you know filming etc Secondly, in terms of editing software, now this is where it can get really expensive. Um, I'm not going into that for this vlog, but what I would suggest to you guys is that um, on YouTube, um, you've got some edit free editing software that you can use. And for vlogging purposes, <coughs> you don't need to be that fancy at the start. Um, it's just a case of editing certain parts, cutting um, and putting the right, the right tracks in, etc. So yeah, have a look on YouTube and there's a free bit of software. Right guys, in terms of operating my camera, as you can see, I've got this nice bit of GoPro accessory here. Um, what I love about the remote is that not only can you stop and start it, um, it also tells you the battery life um, and what mode you're in and you can operate it from here as well to change all that. So I'm gonna turn you off like so and turn you back on. Hi guys. Well, there you go, guys. Um, that is my how-to motor vlog. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you want any more around this, such as editing software or other equipment that I use, just let me know in the comments section. Uh, and apart from that, have a great day, guys. As always, look after yourself. Take care. Moto Newbrider.